Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'm looking at the NACO Data Processing Protocols 2023. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to start with the number one question here. Okay, so which says use Microsoft Word to perform the tasks below. Write a formal letter to the registrar slash chief executive of National Examinations Council stating three ways examination malpractice is carried out at examination uh, centers. The number of paragraphs in the letter should be four, okay? So it has to contain four paragraphs. Now, so before we go into the application, we need to create a sample letter, right? So, of course, the letter might not be the same, but of course, it has to be addressed to the registrar stating the, you know, examination malpractice carried out at different uh, centers. So I'm going to pause the video here and then um, create a sample letter and then I'll come back and then we can look at the application. Okay, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we, we are back, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so um, this is the, this is a sample. This is a sample I created. Uh, 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 thanks to ChatGPT, so I kind of uh, made a sample uh, letter here. So, but I don't think it's up to. I think it's up. To, it's more than four paragraphs, right? So, I think this one, two, three, four. So, I may have to cut off some parts. So, so let me just cut off here, um, right? Okay, let me just cut off here delete that and then join it with the last paragraph just to make it to have um, four paragraphs. So I have one, two, three, and then four. Okay, I think that's good. So what I'm going to do, um, yeah, so I think I think that's about it actually. Okay, so I created a sample, uh, sample letter. So let's look at the application question, all right? Okay. So, the first application question says, format the entire letter uh, font, sorry, format the entire letter font size to 12. So, what I will do here is just to select everything right here. I uh, will just uh, do Control A and then, of course, make it 12. Make everything 12, right? Mm, and that thing I want to do, this one is only the question actually, but I would like to, because these are, every line is a paragraph, so I may have to reduce uh, the spacing after, right? So I'm going to go to paragraph group here, expand it, and then this spacing after, I want to make it zero, so that it will be a bit closer. So that's for the um, address, okay? Just to make it, um, you know, look a bit better. Good. Um, okay, so that's it. So the second I, I align sender's address to the right. Okay, so this second one, I'll align sender's address to the right. So this is the sender's address, which is my own address, right? So if you if you write align it, it's not going to look like how exactly you want it, right? So let me take it back to the uh, left again. So what you want to do here is just to select it. You want to use indentation. So you want to increase the indentation. So you just continue clicking to it gets to the appropriate place you want it. So if I if I click again now, the indentation will be too much. So I'm gonna you know track back a little bit and then this is how it is done. Okay, so it looks um okay. Alright. So the next one, I I I italicize the salutation okay so the salutation which is uh, this part i will uh, italicize it so i'm going to select it italicize that i'm good with that all right so iv type the heading in uppercase center align and bold okay so this is the heading here but let me remove this subject thing uh yeah so let me just, um, the heading, this is the heading here. So I want to center align it, uh, control E of course. Um, center align it and then make it uh, a capital, I guess. 
yeah uppercase yes so uppercase just uh, select the text and then uh, hold down your shift key and then press f3 that will change everything to uppercase and then of course uh, bold it and, then, and i think we're good with that okay so yeah so this done so uh, v drop cap the first letter of each paragraph to two lines so the drop cap first letter of each paragraph to two lines okay so let's do that quickly so what i'm going to do here for each paragraph uh, i'll just select the first letter right there i'll hold down my control key and select the rest so there's supposed to be four of them so i'll do that so from there i'll go to insert from insert you want to get to drop cap here you want to click on because this if i select this this uh you know spills over to three lines but it's they indicated two lines okay so i'm going to actually select the options so from the options here you want to click on drop cap you want to the line to drop cap you want to reduce it to two and then okay that that will now give you a drop cap that extends to only two lines and i think we're okay with that so vi apply text watermark as follows so text will be official and then the layout will be diagonal right so we want to do that quickly um so you want to go to design for the watermark you want to click on watermark here and then of course you want to click on custom so from custom here you want to check the text uh watermark so the text will be official or am i having some funny uh this thing here uh, so it's going to be official language why is this saudi arabia gosh english please um so we're gonna have official right there um what else so it's gonna be diagonal make sure diagonal is uh is checked here and uh, of course uh, what else what else is there text official so there's no font so i'm gonna leave it at uh, as a uh, calibre so i'll leave it like that and then apply and then close so we'll have our um what's it called uh watermark right there okay so that's this that's it for vi so vii align the body of the letter using justify okay so let's get that done so the body the body will be from sorry what am i doing jesus christ the body will, will be from here i need to select everything right from here please so let me do it from down here so i suppose the body will be from here to this point okay so we're going to justify going to home and then justify we want to choose a normal justifier here and then i think we're cool with this right so what's the next thing so this done so v i i i type your full name and registration number as the footer so you want to get down to the footer so you can actually get the footer from insert and then footer right but you can double click also right so but let me just uh, use this so i'm gonna have my full name get full, and a level and then uh, tab and then i'm gonna have ng one two three four five six as my range number and then i'll close that and that's it what else type your full name and registration number as a okay as a footer and i think that's about that uh, print out the hard copy or hard copies in portrait form okay so i think everything is done if there's anything that i'm missing please leave a leave a comment down below to help the rest of the viewers okay uh, by the way i will leave the question paper also uh in the description that's i will leave a link in the description below so you can download the question and then uh, also tag along okay so let's go to file and then um print to see how it's going to look like so this is how our work is going to look like okay so i already treat i treated as i was uh, trying to prepare this uh, uh letter i also treated the b part of the question which is down here okay so you can look at it and then compare it with your own personal work so these are the, the precautions i took i think uh, yeah precautions i took and then 
definition of uh, indenting, what drop, and then difference between save and savers. So I was able to do uh, them here. Okay, so you can look at it and then also compare with your own personal uh, answer. Okay, so I think uh, that's about it for this particular video. So um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. So watch out for for the next uh, part of the you know paper. I mean uh, yeah, the question. All right. So take care of yourself. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.